and welcome to a new round of Life at Evolution and I'm your host Joey. Today we are very excited to have Wild Dove here in the studio with us. Thank you for coming Devin. How was your Friday? How was your day? Uh, my day was really good. Busy. Um, beautiful day out today so can't complain. Thanks for having me. Stoked to be here. Thank you for staying with us again. So first of all, congrats, congratulations on the new album released like three weeks ago, right? That's right, yeah. That is called Helicopter, Leaves and Childhood Memories. That's right. I would love to dig into stories and behind the scene, but before that, would you like to start the song with us and we can dig in afterwards? Yeah, sure. So this one uh, is called Soak Up the Light and it's off that uh, EP. So. <clears throat> oh. Built these walls up around me With my bleeding hands now I can't feel The hearts that surround me Oh, oh The hearts that surround me I know Weary eyes have bitter plans It's hard to trust when you're feeling sad But dig your head out of the sand Soak up the light you've always had Screamed out love as the bounty With my burning lungs now I can't hear The fear grows inside me Oh, 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 oh. The fear grows inside Weary eyes have bitter plans It's hard to trust when you're feeling sad and Dig your head out of the sand Soak up the light you've always had Sometimes my shield gets too heavy I can't see through the darkness It feels my love is unsteady I'm so afraid of the darkness The darkness Head out of the sand Soak up the light you've always had Soak up the light you've always had Soak up the light you've always had That was Soak Up the Light by Wild Dove, and you're listening to Evolution 1079. So for the song, it means, it. the meaning for me would be, it talk about like, how do we protect ourselves and kind of miss out the good thing in life? So where where, where does the story come from? Like, what, what are you thinking when you're writing the songs? Yeah, so that's right. So sometimes we um, tend to put up walls to protect ourselves from getting hurt or out of being afraid. Um, but then when we do that, we miss out on the beauty in life too. So um, there's been times in my life and in people 
very close to me who have been suffering from mental illness, um, who put up those walls and then went to dark places. And you do that and then you miss out on the positive things too, right? So you kind of have to let yourself be vulnerable, I think, in order to have the bittersweet in life. And then how would that correlate with the another song? That is actually the same name of the album, right? Helicopter Lease and Childhood Memories. What would, how would, how, when, how did you get the name? Because for me, when I read the name, I'm like, this is interesting. Is it something that you, you hope when you're like a child? Or that is the thing that you want to give it to your son? Like, where that, would that come from? The, like the name? Uh, helicopter Leaves and Childhood yeah. Memories. Yeah, yeah. So that was um, a uh, concept. The, that title I had running, running around in my head for years and years, and I always wanted it to be something. Um, and then it turned out to just fit the medley. And that was because it, the medley to me is sort of like a life cycle, uh, you know, about dreaming as a child. And, and I was reflecting upon my childhood. And in my childhood, um, my dad used to take me to the parks and, you know, those helicopter seeds, those leaves that look and you can spin them and they f- float around in the air. So I have fond memories of doing things like that. And so I, I kind of just, and it sounds cool to me. Helicopter leaves and childhood memories. It kind of rhymes and sounds cool. So, yeah. So it's, ba- it's basically about your own childhood memories. Yes. And one thing that is special about the song, the song be like seven minutes long, which is good. I like the song. But when I'm listening to the song, it's pretty much like watching like a short drama because for the, I think for like half of the song, I mean, when I'm reaching the half of the song, like the third the third minute, it's gonna have like, it, it has like a bridge where it's like paving the way to the next scene. So in my mind, it's pretty much like watching a drama. So where do that idea come from? I mean, that was cool because not often can I see a song that would somehow really portray a drama in my mind. I mean, that idea is new. Where, where did you get it or how would that happen? Um, I'm just trying to think about what t- part. Are you, are you talking about the weird trippy part? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, um, well, I mean, this... It was, it was a medley of something that I've always wanted to do. And um, so I had these little pieces of songs. And um, I was, so I had three pieces and I needed to figure out what, what I was going to do. So that was just kind of a cheat code to transition between the two parts, to be honest. It was just because, you know, uh, Psychedelic Rock and Pink Floyd and I was trying to go down and uh, Beatles vibe, uh, just w- w- and I wanted to try to take a page out of that book and just take it down a dreamy path, you know. But that, that, yeah, that is really new to me because for me, when I first time hear it, I was like, okay, I thought the song end during the half side, yeah. like okay, but I was like, no, it's got like three more minutes coming up, and that one is really good in a way that again portrayed the drama, and it's and it's interesting. That makes you stand out from the other musician as well. So like the like before that before the album that we're not we're now talking about you would have one in 2020 and then before that you have the one for your boy so i would say 2019 may be a transition year for you because you're kind of like you're not with the band like echo nebraska you're yeah. on your own yeah. so you're kind of starting like new music project and you become a father congratulations mm-hmm. on that thank Even you though it's a little bit far away from us now but like how 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 would that transition be to you is it like new or are you exciting at that point like because it's very different like to be to be in the fan and also or being solo certainly um yeah you're right that you kind of hit that on the head pretty well like um a lot of changes all at once because echo nebraska dissolved and um i was going to be a new father and lots of changes happening all at the same time you're right um and i was <clears throat> so bound for glory that was written in when um, my son wasn't born quite yet, but the, he was coming, and I was just excited and thinking about um, about what it was going to be like to be a father. And then again, reflecting upon my life as a child too. So I just um, and there was a lot of excitement and a lot of joy. If you listen to that EP, it's really uplifting, very <laughs> very positive, right? That's just uh, that's just how I was feeling at the time, and. Um, Dav, uh, who was the producer and I co-wrote with him, he was a, he's a father as well. So we shared that bond, and I think it kind of naturally just came out like that, positive and excited. Okay. Why don't we listen to the song first, and then we can talk a little bit more about what is the transition from band to single to man to father. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah. So this song, Baby Boy, it it wasn't on Bound for Glory, <laughs> but it's uh, it, I dedicated it to my son. So. Restless heart, don't fall apart. But hanging by a thread, nothing seems in your head. It's a long time coming, baby, and I see you running. Maybe it's a long time coming, baby boy, baby boy. You're innocent, and I know that you've been hanging by a thread on the things that I've said. It's a long time coming, baby, and I see you running. Maybe it's a long time coming, baby boy, baby boy. We must begin to grow from within, to build up from the start, or we'll. It's a long time coming, baby, and I see you running. Maybe it's a long time coming, baby boy, baby boy. Life tells the story. Baby Boy by um, Wild Dove here at Evolution 1079. You're listening to Life at Evolution. So you had this one song dedicated for your boy. Any more coming up or anything in your mind that you feel like? Because he's now like 2020, uh, 2019. So he's like four. It's three. Yeah. Like getting close to four. Yeah. So he might be in a new school time. Anything you want to write for him again? Anything in your mind or not yet? Um, There hasn't really been anything of late that's coming out that way dedicated to him but there probably will be changes your perspective on life when you uh, are a father everything or or parent or, or anything it everything changes so for the better so yeah i bet there will be but <laughs> well we would see and like stay tuned for another song maybe for your son so just now we talk about like 2019 a lot of change happened and which one which mode do you feel like fits you better the band or solo because for the band you used to like travel around perform around so right now you have your family you have your son maybe it's better for you to stay with them in the, in the city well, like personally which one do you think is works better for you um well it's hard because i miss i miss a lot of aspects of being in a band i miss jamming out i miss rocking on stage i miss the whole the whole thing like um so there's elements of being in a band that are just wonderful there's that you cannot get from being a solo artist like you bounce ideas off of each other and the feeling you have when you're just playing and it's vibing you can't get that by yourself so i'll miss i miss that but certainly there's a freedom that you have as a solo artist where you can I can play and under Wild Dove, the moniker Wild Dove, I can do kind of whatever I want to do. If I want to do a 
sl- soft, like really slow, somber folk record, I could. If I want to rock out, I can. If I want to do pop, I will. If I want to, you know, I can do whatever I want to do, which is freeing and kind of cool. So it would a lot be on the flexibility of the content that you want to work on. Yeah, and collaborating with whoever, right? And then one thing as well, the 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 theme that I realize for the songs that you have released on your own name is a lot on mental health issues. Like the the one that we now have, you talk about like you have friends or like family members, they would have like different kind of problem that they close themselves up. And then for down, let's say the one that we're now, we would have um, listened from you. It's also about um, mental health. It would be about like taking away the mental health stigma right so what would you say like you spend a lot of time or you spend a lot of your content on you know making health men like mental health issues a problem or a issue that everybody would take a look at because still in the community in the society we still have like that sticker on it like uh, it's better not talk about it or whoever has it is like something wrong with him so is it your role or the thing that you want to do to be like tell everybody this is okay we should reach out and take care of people around us uh, that's a great question. I, I don't think it's really like, it's not like I sit down and, and I, I have a, I position myself to write something specifically for mental health. I don't, I don't plan it like that, but, and I don't really necessarily consider myself an ambassador of mental health, but it's a, it's an, a very important issue to me because it's impacted me and people in my life. I think it just comes out naturally in the songwriting process. I use the songwriting and music as a form of therapy. It, it really, um, so when, when the piece of art is complete, oftentimes, sometimes like a year later, I'll be like, oh, that's what that's about. Like, I won't even know what the song is until I've sat with it for a while, right? And maybe played it for a couple people and, and they tell me, oh, I think it's about this. And I'm like, oh, that makes sense, you know? So yeah, it's, it's yes and no, I guess. Like, I, I, uh, but like I'm not intentionally trying to be an ambassador for mental health, but it's just naturally happening. I mean, it, it's good to bring that out with your songs because I think the prob- that problem, like mental health issue has been around for a good time, especially for this few years. It, it's obviously getting more prominent in the society. So, I mean, it's, it's, it would be great to have the message while listening to your song. So just now we talk about Dang, it, it like, cause I was preparing for the show this, like this two weeks and I was picking the songs to listen. And this morning I sent you the picture, be like, I'm listening to Dang because I would, be, I would believe like many of us would experience different level of mental health issues. And when I listen to that, I feel like I was originally floating in the air. Cause mm-hmm. let's say if I am in my mental low land, I'm like floating everywhere. No, no one can hold me down, tie me down to the ground. But after listening to that one, I feel like I sense that comfort and peace. I don't know how should I put it in like actual words, but then it's really, you feel like after you listen to that one, you feel like somebody is with you. Yeah. I think it's very important for those people who may have like mental health issues. Like you have somebody to be with you, you're not, you're not alone. Yeah. And after I listened to that song, I was like, okay, that is the message I get from you, even though it's not really in the lyrics saying like, I will be with you. But yeah. it's just after you listen to that one, the, the audience will somehow get it like, you're not alone, we're not doing this one on our own. Mm. And um, that's why just now when you talk about we're gonna play Stang in a show, I'm like, this is great, let's bring it on. And should we go with it now? Yeah, for sure. Interesting about this one too, is because uh, it could be a relationship song, mm-hmm. the way the lyrics are, <laughs> stuff, right? So it's kind of universal. It isn't that for me because I would I didn't was not going through any breakup. I was like <laughs> with my my uh, fiance who was pregnant with my son, and uh, you know I didn't have any like breakup feelings. But it was more about that. But sometimes you gotta you gotta talk about more universal things to get your message across too. And everybody's been through a breakup, so it could be a breakup song to some people. But it, it wasn't. <laughs> I didn't write it like that. So. Got to know I'm at a loss to you I should have known better If we made plans that we thought through All these nights to be together Now I'm out there searching While my heart keeps burning I can't make you love me 
You're the only one who pulls me up, 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 up When I feel down, down, down And I need you to pull me up, 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 up When I feel down, and I feel down Comes another lonely day. I should've known better. Keep asking when things are gonna change. I wish I wouldn't remember. Good things coming, bad thoughts go. This time I'm not letting go. Cause you're the only one who pulls me up, 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 up. When I feel down, down, down. So pull me up, 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 up When I feel down, down, down And I need you to pull me up, 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 up When I feel down, and I feel down Up, 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 up When I feel down, down, down And I need you to pull me up, 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 up when Feel down, ooh, ooh. down. That was down by our um, artist in the studio today, Wild Duff. So we have spent our conversation on looking back. So right now in 2023, anything coming up for you? Any, because last time when I was watching on Netflix, I, I was watching Love is Blind. And I didn't know where are the songs from, but but I was watching that season. I was like, okay, this is fun, but I didn't know. So I, I couldn't search it or whatever. So I was also learning about your background. I was like, oh, so that is actually your song. That is Prove It, right? Prove It, yes. Yeah, yeah. that is with um, Love is Blind. And I mean, like that is an achievement for me. If you have your songs reaching more people on different shows, I mean, that would be a great achievement. So it seems like you have your new songs coming up, new albums, you're featured on Netflix. Any more plan or project you want to work on in 2023? You feel like I want to have that breakthrough. It could be like family or with your son or with the songs. Anything coming up? Um, <clears throat> well, I have a bunch of new songs. Um, and I'm really... My fiance keeps telling me to um, to release like an acoustic record to um, and with these new songs. So I'm humming and hawing because... Yeah, I, I have a bunch of new songs and I, w I would like to go to the studio and record them. And I, it might, I might do a little bit of both because I, I'm also been, been making like a little bit more like darker, heavy rock, alternative rock sort of songs too. So, um, yeah, I just want to get back and record and release some stuff. I have some already complete finished songs, m mix and mastered that um, are ready to be released that I might just release soon too as a follow up. So we have been talking about the new plans and project in 2023. Would you have any preview or like a song that is not yet released, but you can actually let us have a tease of it? Any songs that would be previewable? Yeah, I would love to. I'll play, I'll play a, new, a new song. Um, hasn't been recorded or anything like that. It's called Soul on Fire. There's a stone to behold From the past I'm told 
thrones of blood and old golden thrones will not save your soul. Dig up what was lost In the midnight hour Hide your ghost No matter the cost Set your soul on fire Set your soul can hear the choir as our spirits get higher Remember these nights as we live on our lives Set your soul on fire 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 That was so on fire by Wild Dove. It would be our honor to listen that one before everybody else does. Thank you so much for bringing. Thank you so much for bringing that to the show, and can't wait to see the actual thing released. And that would be great news for every one of us. Thank you so much, and thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. How can people reach you? How can people know the updates from you? How can we? How can we find your music and everything, or any upcoming show performance coming up? Yeah, um, the best way is. At Wild Dove Live on Instagram, that's my primary one. Um, at Wild Dove Live on Facebook too. It just kind of auto auto posts on there. Um, but Instagram is my primary. At Wild Dove Live on Instagram, and I'm on YouTube too. Yeah. Same one. At Wild Dove Live. So we would be seeing a lot more video or a lot more of your appearance on like, YouTube and Instagram most of the time. Yes. Yeah. That would be great. I mean, it it's 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 would be. We are more than happy to have you today here with us because I know everybody is busy and I really like the lyrics and the meaning behind the song. That's why I'm like, let me try and see if I can get you in because once again, I know you're busy and thank you so much for the night coming in. And I do believe we would be seeing a lot more of your performance upcoming and stay tuned with the next episode. And once again, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for listening. If you like this version, don't forget we have a video version one on YouTube and do you search evolution uh, video network and we should be good to go. Do you see the video? Because I think the body gesture from from um, Wild Dove is also very important when you come to appreciate like a music uh, uh, piece. So do you go to the YouTube channel and do you search Wild Dove on the social media and learn more about his music. So I would say take care, be kind to one another and till next time.